Today, I thought I would do a DIY tutorial, but challenge myself a little bit with the mediums I used. So this is the painting that I've done, and what I'm gonna do is create a cave painting jar, a little bit like the one that I've already made, but instead I'm gonna be using some slightly unconventional mediums. I start off with a tea bag, and luckily I still had one left, so I'm gonna pop that in hot water. Then I'm gonna agitate it a little bit to get as much color into the water as I can. And you're gonna be using a normal paintbrush for this. Though of course, if you wanted to be a little bit hardcore, you could use your fingers. But what I want to try and do is replicate the color of the wall and have something which isn't quite so bright white and something which has got a little bit more of a creamy tone to it. So I'm going to be painting the tea all over that. And once that's dried, I'm going to be moving on to some charcoal. Now I'm going to be using regular charcoal for drawing, but again, if you wanted to go hardcore, you could just try and pull something out of the fireplace or burn something and use that. I'm going to be crushing it up into a powder. And then what I'm going to be doing is using a very, very small disposable eyeliner brush, just because this is as close to something very rough and natural as I could get other than just using a paintbrush. And I wanted to see what I could do using just this little brush. So I'm going to be outlining a saber tooth tiger. I'm going to be giving it some spots a little bit like a leopard and the easiest way to do this is to imagine it as a broken up C. So do a C shape and then add a little dot connecting it and then it's just a variation of C shapes and broken up O shapes. I'm also going to be drawing some wheat very lightly and the easiest way to do this is to do a line and then have little flicks at the very end of it. And I'm going to be doing a few of these. And now I'm going to take the charcoal stick and I'm just going to go over the areas which I want to be a little bit darker and layering that a little bit more. Add some lines to the tail as well. And then what I'm going to be using is some chalk. Now unfortunately the one I have is quite bulky but if you can maybe try and break it down into something slightly smaller. I'm going to be using this underneath the belly, underneath the legs, also underneath the jaw as well and along the tail. And now I'm going to be using some turmeric. The easiest way to do this is to put it in a little pot or bowl, add some water, and then what I'm going to be doing is adding that colour just underneath the arch of the back and then down the front of the legs as well. There's this beautiful painting in Argentina called Cueva de los Manos that I really liked, so I'm going to be replicating that on this jar. And the easiest way to draw hands is just to draw a little square, add a thumb on either side that you want on the very corner of the bottom, and then draw the fingers up at the very top of that square and fill in the square. And that's really all it is to make a hand shape. It's really not that difficult once you break it down into the basic shapes and draw from there. I'm also going to be using some food coloring, so I'm going to be using some red food coloring and then some black food coloring. I'm going to use that red and black on the saber tooth tiger as well. So I'm going to be adding a little bit of that red along the shoulders, along the back, and then also along the snout and tail. And then of course I'm going to be using those colours to draw the hands. Once I've finished with the red food colouring, I'm going to be using the black food colouring and I'm going to be outlining the saber tooth tiger. I am going to be using a paintbrush for this, but if you want to you could use either of the tools that I showed you before. Once I've finished with the black, I'm going to go back to the tea colour that I used earlier and then I'm going to drag that black on the back legs and bring it down so that you get more of a reddish brown colour which is going to go all the way down to the feet. And this is just going to help make it look like the legs on the opposite side of the tiger are further away from you. This is unrealistic for cave art, I haven't ever seen cave art done like this, but today I'm going to take a little bit of artistic licence and go ahead and do that. And after that, you just need to put a spray paint over it just so that it doesn't end up running all over the place if it gets wet. And then that's pretty much it. Let me know what you would use if you were going to recreate something like that. Are there different spices that you would use? You could even use coffee if you wanted to. But other than that, you're done.